Yeah, so we're gonna have Haitani, you deals own versus Hori's Sokol. It's gonna be Nikali versus Chun Li. And as we've seen uh, previously throughout the longevity of the tournament, Sokol Noko has been such an execution monster with Chun Li, as well as having excellent spacing. But we all know Haitani as being a nut. I'm not gonna lie, Haitani's offense is so hard to read. You can't tell when he's gonna go for it. Man grab, <laughs> when he wants to uppercut, or just jab, just to kind of throw you off, whatever. He was considered the best player in Japan at the start of the game. Yep. And of course, these are both members of the totally real set of gods, Japanese fighting game gods. They have been among the best players in the world for two decades, right? 15 years, two decades. In a, in a host of games, and I love I love these character choices for, for both of them. I think that they make so much sense considering their styles. Sako wants to play this execution-heavy game. He has excellent spacing, excellent punishes. And Hayatani with all the mix-ups in the world. Yes. Activation time, yeah, making it safe. Sako neutralizing that pressure. Good call with a V reversal. Yeah, right outside of that. No meter left to build for Haitani in the V-Gage department, as he's already in v Oh, nice! Finds the opening into the Dragon Punch. Everybody does EX Stomp there, but no, he went for DP. Sako not phased whatsoever. Missed the anti-air timing. Pretty close cool stuff, as the dive kick's really hard to kind of counteract against. And it was safe anyway. For Sako. Nice. Finds it. That's yeah, it's just really cool to see these two people play. I've seen them play wow, in everything cool. from... Uh, Vampire Point. Savior to, yeah, you to a third strike, and and it's, it's really a treat to see them here in Street Fighter Five as well. Ugh. All right, now Haitani trying to set the tone here as Sako's towards the corner. But Sako's still gonna fight it out. Finds the low forward EX legs. E Gage building up for Haitani. Nice call from Sako, firing right back there with the crouch jab. He's just gonna hang out, be at the optimal range he needs to be at. Haitani with the activation catches nothing off of that. And Sako just putting an end to that. No super. Could have gone. Yeah, he could have. Trying to find another opportunity. Any touch could do it. Oh. And he goes for the reset. EX. No, not EX. That means Sako's alive. Look at this mobility from Haitani. How do you deal with Beatrick and Akali? Oh, oh maybe you that's don't. how! You do not! Maybe that's how! <laughs> you do not let Sako live! If you find the kill, you better take that chance. He don't actually you do could have done it. Mm -hmm. So game one goes to Sako. Of course, he won Capcom Cup this is in yeah, yeah. 2015? 14? I thought it was 13. Was it that long ago? In any case, he is a former Capcom champion himself. Capcom Cup champion himself. Be sure to use hashtag Capcom Cup 2016. Teach us a thing or two. We yeah, might be a little rusty. I was there for that, but uh, I don't know. Long time ago. <laughs> kind of ancient news, but uh. Ooh, the jump in is good. Hi, Tony. Building that V gauge as well as the damage. Get off me. Stop the knuckle spending that meter. Ooh! It's just a rare drop. The Fierce is good though, nice confirm into the spinning bird game. I love the battle for that range, that's really what this has been about. Okay, interrupted. And letting that stun gauge deplete, now back into it, almost about even. Really cool yeah, call. I mean, you're right in terms of life bar, but Haitani, oh, I was gonna say Haitani's one combo away from taking it. The whiff punish was there by Sako. He's still oh, in and oh. Very rare drop. Uh, from Sakunoko, Haitani now fully loaded with critical arrows. It's so rare to see that kind of an execution error out of Sako. He's still got an execution. There are at least three combos I can think of that are called the Sako combo in different games. Haitani not fearing any of that as he's already oppressing Sako into the corner. Nice air to air. Quick call neutral medium. All right. Ooh, the call. Not a ton of damage on, but at least he got some punish. That low medium punch is Haitani, but again, Haitani is still trying to back off a little bit. A little weary of what Sako's gonna do. The confirm is there off the roundhouse. Activation okay. time. Super. Or... Gotta do super. Mm. Look, he learned the lesson last time. If you can kill Sako, oh, he doesn't. He though. couldn't kill Sako. There okay, it is. There, there it is. That's fine. But I like that he went for the big stuff. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Game two goes to Haitani. So I like the turn of momentum from Haitani there. Um, really taking the chances 
against Sako. It's really, it's really, again, it's really tough to let him live. You really don't want to give him those opportunities. Mm. He's been really offensive, and Sako Noko was a little flustered. Couldn't really get by all that offense too much. Round too one. For that matter. Kind of want to see how he adapts here. It's really kind of a scramble, to be honest. They've been fighting for a state the, the entire set. Yeah, that, that mid range between them has been really an interesting battle. I feel like I don't often see Nikali's fight for that range in that kind of way, but that has been a big part of this. The Pierces have been there, Crouching Strongs have been there. It's been really interestingly done. Sako already in a tough position. Right when I say that, connects the Fierce of V-Trigger. And a ton of damage coming Haitani's way. Oh. Haven't seen that too many times. Yeah, absolutely. Sako Noko still on it. Safe pressure. Oh, He's nice. Up that timing, Haitani. It's so good that he gets bigger damage like that. Again, most Nikali's you'll see will just do dive kick, jab, EX, stomp. Yeah. But he gets the bigger stuff. Yeah. Great awareness there from Haitani, continuing the combo to max potential. Getting him that first round over Sako Noko, getting tons of damage out the gate. Confirmed from Sako, EX legs are good. Mm. Got caught. That's one solution. Just get underneath it and punish the landing recovery. V skills uh, good. Haitani with the pop off V trigger. So dangerous now. It's a whole different ball game once the Kali lets his hair go down. Oh, God, I'll Woo. say, and that's going to do it. Two to one. Yeah, Haitani has looked great. I've loved his buttons in the mid range, I love the mobility. The mix ups have been strong. But I really feel like it's that mid-range control that I expect to go to Chun-Li. You know, I expect most Nikali's to not really play in the same way that Haitani is, but he's making it work. Yeah. And and fantastically, I, I'm really impressed by it. Yeah, it's really hard to kind of contain Haitani as he's both dominant in the ground as well as changing up his timing airborne, right? So it's kind of a tough call for Sako Noko because if he doesn't choose to anti-air, he's going to have to give up that estate, which he really needs in this match. Right. That's a cool, cool choice of buttons there. Stopping the roundhouse altogether. Right, yeah. This time a little bit, would have got crush countered. Right, yeah. It's not a lot of damage, it's just a way to tell the opponent, look, I know what you're doing. Quit doing it. Oh, going right under there, that's another solution. Great awareness from Sako, Haitani now. Nice. Sako with the knockdown, there's the DP again. Second time this set. Yeah, and he followed up again. He just gets everything out of all the situations. Really? The active Fierce. Fierce? Sit down. Yeah. Gotta make it safe. Alright. Very nice reactions. Great confirm too from Sako. Nice and cool there. Jab, jab, go forward. First round of game number four. A lot more control here from Sako. Like yeah, this Hanging is looking out. good right now from Saku. He's at ranges that are much stronger for him. Dancing around, well, he had been dancing around Seismos, Roundhouses. Not right now. And that is letting Haitani My build so goodness. much V-meter. You see how much he has down there? He already has Trigger, even though he's only lost a third or a quarter of his life. That's rare, but that's so strong for Nikali to get that. Oh, the crush counter is good, Haitani. Trying to find another opening. But Saku will fire right back. He's, no like he's not shift. scared. Oh, he is maybe a little bit scared on that wake up. Ooh. I like that. Using the crouching medium kick just in case Saitani decides to uppercut, ducking right under there. Good pressure tool from Sokka. A lot of blocking, a lot of gray damage. Oh, and all that life just disappears. Off a jab. That's like throw damage. I like that. Oh, didn't want to take the risk on the anti air. I certainly understand that. Right, a little bit more time left for both players. Kind of sneak in their last final hit, their final words. They both have such damage potential right now. Chun Li trigger with uh, EX ready. Haitani has. Oh, oh, the confirms are real, Haitani from long distance. That buffer, just in case the crouching medium kick hit, you got the super. If it hadn't hit, no big deal. Nothing would have come out. Beautiful stuff from Haitani. Match point now for him. Sako, final he won round. Capcom Cup in 2013. Fight. He'd got like, him. He'd like to do it again. Yeah, you did. But Haitani's trying to send them to losers. Max distance type kick from Haitani. Great spacing. It's pretty interesting. 
Yeah, I'm just so impressed by his neutral game. It's not like he's just waiting for a trigger and then gonna go nuts. No, he he has such good control of regular Nikali as well. You see how he's not as active now with his V skill usage though? Trying to mix it up between offense and defense yeah. here, but Sako now is not gonna have any of it as he's pushing Haitani further and further in the corner. Finds the opening he needs. And there he goes, back to the V skills, V triggers available. Oh! Link it. He does. He stays alive and winners. Yeah, it's tied up here 2-2 two to two again. Great choice for Sako using the low medium kick. Uh, pretty much nothing to lose there. Low risk, but high reward. Using the low medium kick. Again, Haitani, if he chooses to go nuts with an uppercut, not going to happen. Just going to whiff completely. So it's going down to the final game. I think the 10th time, if I have my counting right, that we've gone down to the final game. I just assume it's going to happen. Uh, right, already, yeah, I already stopped counting. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Nice counter buttons there from Haitani. Crouch strong is good. Oh, nice. Interesting. V skill uses of his own. Nice confirm into the legs. Getting the charge down. First time we've seen that air to air choice. And then the mix up. Man. Crossing some angles here. Oh, yeah. close to stun. Missed the opportunity. Haitani just going to back off. Nice. Very call. smartly played by Haitani and instantly goes into trigger as soon as he had it. He's always in V trigger around the 70 second mark. It's so interesting. By the time that happens, it's just a huge momentum sink for Haitani, as you see right here. The confirms. Sokol really trying to get a little bit of space for himself, at least. Yeah, he's still trying to buffer those normal stand strong. Oh, that was kind of close. If you're in mid-screen, you just never know when Beecher and Akali is going to come in. He can do it from so far away so quickly, Ooh. or he can still control from far away. You would think he wouldn't use V-Skill anymore, but nope, he's well aware. It's, it's not like you need to build V-Meter, right? But right. you can still control space. Now on match point is Haitani while sitting on that full critical art. No EX Lex there to continue the combo though from Sako. Right under there. No, Haitani's been a lot more patient now. In the final moments. More active with the roundhouse. Sit down. Good throw. Slowly chipping away from Sako. Could have gone for the critical art there. Missed the opportunity because he dropped the combo. Oh! Wait a minute! No, nope. the drop was there! Swing and a miss. Giving Sako a big opportunity. And very light pressure. Oh, jump short! Oh my goodness, last second. Cross under, too. Genius. He waited for the dragon punch. It did not come. Haitani, is he even going to get into trigger mode? Oh, he might now. He might take it now. Overhead he got the does. overhead. Haitani. So oh, Sako. Risky. For somebody like Sako with the execution, one of the best in the world to drop it and lose because of that. Wow. Killer. Killer. Oh, man. You got to feel for him right there. Oh, man. My heart is. Uh, when your when strength so fails right you, when, when your best attribute is why you lose, this you just feel terrible. Win for player one. You know. It is what it is. I mean, he he's got a lot move of good on. things going yeah. for him. He, yeah, sure. So Sako's still in this. It's not like he's out. Yeah. But uh, again, I'm really impressed by how Haitani played. I loved his Nikali. I loved his choices as regular Nikali, taking up good space, approaching well. Footsies were there. Even when he was in V trigger Nikali, it wasn't just the crazy go nuts stuff that we see from some people. It was right. still control. Absolutely. I mean, he could go in. He did go in sometimes, certainly. Yeah. But at the same time, he was still backing off with V skill every now and then. Like, it was not, yeah. it was not easy to read what he was going to do. Yeah. Kept it really ambiguous for yeah. Sako Noko, and that's what really sealed him to deal there, uh, especially with V-Skill usage, as you mentioned before. But just all all around a nuisance, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's a way to put it, yeah. everywhere. He's like a bee if a bee sting, if you're allergic to bees. <laughs> <laughs> I, sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Like, he's like, he's buzzing all around you, but I'll you can it. die. I'll take it. <laughs> Don't do that. And the confirms Crispy from Hayatani. Uh, tons of damage. Give me your soul. Your soul is mine. Haitani is going to be moving on into round three of the winner's bracket. Again, solid play overall. Mm -hmm. And again, the buffer of the low forward caught Sako dashing up. That was so sick, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I'll was, say. Uh, you see the majority of these replays go down to just critical art. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a super close set. What can you say? And it ended up going down, as I'm we'll probably see, mm -hmm. uh, to, a, to a drop by Sako. Oh, God, how often does that happen? 
Ugh. And seal the deal right there as Haitani with the overhead. Ooh, yeah, they both Hulk know it. Even Haitani, you see Haitani's face. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't know. believe I got away with murder there. Right, right. 